so here i am going to share how you can get higher band score in less time especially in the speaking as i am taking online speaking classes i have online platform and i'm really surprised when most of the candidates they are giving me their speaking interviews on everyday basis but they are not aware about the four criteria of the speaking as you are being assessed by the four criteria of speaking by your examiner so you must aware for that so criteria number 1 is fluency and coherence where you have to speak without hesitation or with minimum efforts second you need to take care of the linking word for the coherence part and second one is that vocabulary where you need to use very uncommon and rare words if you want to get desired score third grammatical range and accuracy and fourth one is pronunciation whatever your accent is but you must be clear to your examiner at least they should be able to understand what you want to say so let's talk about part 1 if they are asking a question to you do you have many close friends if you are answering no i do not have many close friends as i am a shy person so this is a very short answer the examiner will not be able to judge on this answer because you haven't spoken a lot so instead elaborate your answer at least 30 or 40 seconds or between 2 and 3 lines so how you can answer of this question do you have many close friends honestly speaking i have handful of close friends as i am little introverted and a shy person i have just few close friends with whom i share my talks but we get on well with each other so it is advisable to elaborate your answer to extend your answer between 20 and 30 seconds or at least 30 and 40 seconds but it is also advisable don't elaborate your answer too long if you are elaborating your answer too long then you will be interrupted by your examiner they may jump to the second question or they may exaggerate the same question what else do you say so this is advisable take care in the part 1 just try to speak at least 3 to 4 sentences or 2 to 3 sentences so it is also advisable need to prepare these four important topics at any cost about your study your work your home or hometown then at least four to five simple topics practice every day for example reading books cooking computer sports and then some complex topics like animal pets rainy days weather or some other complex topics and you have to practice almost every day before going to the final examination with some whatever the tips i even told you so let's talk about part 2 in part 2 by examiner you will be given a cue card where you will have to speak between 1 and 2 minutes they will give you a cue card and then they will offer you paper and pencil to make notes so don't hesitate to collect that paper and pencil and for making notes so this is suggested as per my personal experience as i'm sharing my insight so this is suggested use that paper and pencil for making a spider web and it would be very easy to make or to plan your answer and you will be able to cover that for example there is a cue card describe how you spend your leisure time please say these are the bullet points where do you spend your leisure time with whom do you spend that time and do you enjoy spending your leisure time in this way and explain why this leisure time is important to you so there are four bullet point but one is really very important that is explain so i i just suggest explanation part this is the last question written separately in the cue card just speak over it at least 4 to 5 lines so this is advisable but most of the students they do not take care of this and 
and sometimes students ask me that we have to speak in order because we are worried that we have to cover all the bullet points yes this is important to cover all the bullet points but this is not important that you have to cover every bullet point in order besides you need to work upon the entire cue card with the questions whether you are speaking in order or not but it doesn't matter but you have to explain the entire story while considering the criteria fluency and coherence vocabulary grammar and pronunciation let's dive into the part 3 this is known as follow up questions in the follow up part you will be given 7 to 8 questions by the examiner but sometime they just extend these questions 8 to 10 10 to 12 or sometime they exaggerate a question with wh family why how what when so don't uh, hesitate or don't be nervous if they are having they are asking wh family part to you so in part 3 this is very important you need to present your idea with the strong opinion this is this is suggested that you have to present your idea with the strong opinion above all just try to use rare words and common words over here you have checked your strong opinion as well as your vocabulary this matters a lot you always be stay to the point if they are asking wh family then add one or two more sentences whatever you said previously but don't repeat your answer so how you can extend these answers the what should be the length of these answers at least try to give your answer in four to five sentences and try to use different different ideas and moreover if they are asking about the advantages and disadvantages then talk about both on the positive side of it on the negative side of it they are asking a compare and contrast question then don't hesitate to compare and contrast then you can compare and then contrast it and if they are asking a question they are asking your opinion then talk in general about your opinion in the part 3 don't go personal this is advisable because they are asking general questions so you need to answer in general try to give your opinion with some useful expressions so what expressions you can use here in my opinion as far as i am concerned i would say in my notion from my point of view you can start and moreover just elaborate your answer with some general examples but don't go personal in this part thank you so much hope this is helpful